Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Talking Tech with Kunal Tyagi. Well, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about Christmas for developers all over the world. Uh, yes, I'm going to be talking about Apple's WWDC event, uh, which just got concluded. Uh, the keynote of it, and uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the most important announcements that happened over there. Uh, what is going to be new in iOS 15? And uh, for all of you who don't know what WWDC means, uh, well, it's called Worldwide Developers Conference. It's exclusive to Apple developers uh, so that they can develop their apps and customize them according to the upcoming iOS. So without much further ado, let's get started. So here are the key developments uh, that I came across at the WWDC. For me, the most important uh, announcement and one of the most important announcements was uh, improvements in FaceTime. Well, as we all know, the pandemic has hit us hard and of course, work from home has become a new norm. Uh, so we're very dependent on uh, a lot of third party apps like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, Slack for that matter to, you know, get into that everyday uh, video conferencing uh, and there are some third-party apps which do not come from very reliable sources uh, So what Apple has done is improved its FaceTime uh, to a level where uh, you know, you can actually replace it for a proper video conferencing app uh, so with these uh, updates uh, SharePlay is another new feature which has come in FaceTime. Uh, what this means is that you know, you can uh, share your content in real time with the person uh, you are talking with uh, it is it, it is something that you can share across Apple devices you know if you're watching a movie and chatting with somebody on FaceTime you both can watch the same movie at the same time something that we have seen in say like a Netflix party uh, that Google Chrome extension uh, that we had and uh, you know you can share it across an iPad an iOS uh, based uh, Apple device uh, an iPhone or uh, iMac so you can watch the same content in real time across different devices. You can share projects, TV shows, movies, all of that. Another major update to FaceTime is spatial audio. Well, spatial audio, well, basically it means that, you know, whosoever is talking uh, when the mic is on in a video conference call, that person comes to the center. Uh, there is voice isolation as well. Uh, the clarity levels of uh, voice have also gone up according to Apple. And uh, there is a portrait mode also, which has now come to FaceTime as well. Uh, well, it, there's also active background uh, noise uh, reduction. That's another thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, before we go any further ahead, let me tell you, I have myself downloaded iOS 15, the beta developer version uh, on my iPhone 12 Pro, and I'm going to be testing it uh, in this given time in the next couple of weeks. And then I'm going to be coming out with an exclusive, detailed, uh, in-depth conversation about, you know, the new changes and its real world application. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh. <music> Okay, let's talk about more features and more news that we heard from WWDC. Uh, Focus is uh, a new addition, you know, that is helping uh, users to mute and subject out their incoming notifications. Depending on their situation, you can choose between, say, like a work mode and, you know, you can... Uh, the device can automatically recognize your current activity and then you know you can users can signal their status when they're available and when they're not available more on it as i get onto it uh, myself uh, on the ios uh, 15 beta that i'm talking about uh, another new addition is quick note well quick note uh, so that you can draw quick notes as the name itself suggests from any website uh, making it very ideal uh, while you are uh, noting down pointers on a presentation or noting down pointers in a meeting. Uh, you can also use that text to search things directly on, on uh, Safari. So the text to search engine capabilities uh, have improved dramatically with this update. More on it in detail uh, once I get my hands on it. Uh, but what this basically is doing is uh, that, you know, whenever you note down something, even on uh, you jot it down on any app or website, you can just simply 
jump to a safari search result it's a smart move over there uh, well shortcuts have also improved uh, you know you can customize your uh, mac os shortcuts including menu bar finder spotlight hands free with siri all of that another major update at wwdc was airplay on mac well uh, airplay is presently not available on uh, mac once you get it over there you know you can present share movies play games photos all of that right from your iphone uh, to your ipad the you know the high fidelity sound system on the mac can also be used as an airplay speaker to play out your podcast for example you can listen out this podcast now on a mac as well Uh, airplay traditionally has been used between an iphone and an ipad and an apple tv so you know you can switch between devices and uh, transfer photos and all that but now it's on mac as well so you know that's a welcome uh, addition a uh, universal control another important update at this year's uh, wwdc uh, users can you know drop and uh, drag content between uh, one devices to the other uh, you can use a single mouse and you can have a single keyboard and you can work between different macs and ipad so you know one remote universal control uh, for all your uh, ios and mac devices uh, this is another addition it's called universal control uh, more on it later as well once i have uh, you know the installation is already on once i get my hands on it so it's been uh, quite exciting uh, this year's wwdc of course uh, there were expectations in terms of more hardware launches uh, somebody was saying that you know maybe we can expect new things but that didn't happen it's mostly mainly because of the ios developments stay tuned uh, to jagran high tech stay tuned uh, to tech up with kunal and i'm going to be telling you all about uh, the real world applications of uh, ios 15 in the next podcast mm-hmm.